Hey guys, it's John Vidian with Dent Reaper here. And I just wanna go over the story of how I got into the whole PDR tool making game. And basically stems back to when I was working a route as an employee for another PDR company. And volume was the name of the game and speed was the name of the game. I did a ton of wholesale work at that time and was really looking for one door tool where I could grab it and do 80% of the work I needed to do. And the problem with the door tools I was having, I was spinning out of dents, um, just wasn't as accurate as I needed to be and, and found a lot of flex in a lot of these door tools. So uh, I went about having one made in it was a long and winding road and finally got hooked up with A1 Tool. Uh, John and Maria Kallenbach have been uh, amazing to work with, but um, sent them a CAD of this particular tool. In the beginning, it did not have this ratchet handle. It was just a fixed handle, but things have evolved since then, obviously. But uh, a little thicker stock than, than your average door tool. This is 7 16 by 29 inches and it's super stout and uh, extended the kick past what my uh, original door tools were to avoid spinning out of those dents and sharpen the tip up for more accuracy and uh, then shaved it about halfway down here for access purposes. And uh, I mean, really before this thing hit the market, I was using it for probably close to, uh, close to a year before it really gained any sort of popularity. And uh, once it did, things really took off from there and things have evolved. I had you know more and more techs reaching out, asking for different sizes. So we went, made a few different sizes. And now actually this is uh, called the Little Red Reaper. And this guy has quickly become my favorite. And this is probably the, the first tool I grab when I'm doing any sort of uh, door ding type of work. Then we got the baby blue. Um, again, just shortened it up and took it down a diameter. And then we went into the fat baby and actually had a few techs cut off their original Reaper because when they were working, you know, upper body lines, things like that, they just found that their Ergonomically speaking, it was better to have a shorter version. And I really do love this thing for upper body lines. You can get down on one knee and just stare down that body line. And uh, it's, uh, it's a great thing, fat baby. So that was the evolution and origin of how Dent Reaper got started and, and how the whole line sort of came into play. And then obviously more tools have come from there. And we'll get into those a little bit later, but um, just thought I'd let you guys know how it all got started. And the original Dent Reaper, still uh, one of the best sellers for us. So I uh, love this tool. And not only because it's the original, but uh, use it all the time. So uh, head on over to dentreaper.com, grab one. And uh, you know I hope you love it as much as I do. So. Thanks so much. Have a great one.